Hey everybody, Big Nate here. I wanted to share with you something I learned on Sloppy Mechanics about how to test out your China waste gates to see exactly how much pressure they push uh, before they open. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is give you a quick overview of where I'm at in my project and what I am trying to accomplish. Uh, this is my formerly naturally aspirated build, uh, forged rod, for forged piston, uh, about 11.7 to 1 compression ratio, uh, 60 over LQ4 with ported heads and a big naturally aspirated cam, ran nitrous through it before, and on motor ran a best of 1090 in uh, this wonderful pile of crap cutlass. Um, I have gotten a pair of 72 millimeter China knockoff turbos used the $100 China headers, cut them back, uh, welded some mufflers onto fender exits, uh, and I did it uh, expertly. That uh, won't leak, I'm sure. I'm gonna grind that down, repaint, and then uh, eventually put wrap on it. A uh, bunch of other little things that I should probably make videos on about this, uh, just like the uh, coil relocation bracket that I made using threaded rod and nuts and washers to put my coils down underneath the headers. Um, but let's get to what I am trying to show you here today. Right here, I have the 44 millimeter China knockoff wastegate uh, times two on the CX Racing elbows. Um, and I'm using these fairly inexpensive push lock uh, air tubes for my vacuum and boost system. And uh, right now I'm just hooked up to the bottom port and I am venting the uh, upper port until I get a, uh, a boost controller for that. And I have taken the dump tube off and I have loosened the wastegate so I can turn it around so we can look down inside the port. There it is seated against the fire ring. I uh, probably need to do a little bit more work on it to lap it to make it seal better. Uh, ignore my absolutely atrocious welds there that need to be ground down. Uh, like I said, I'm in the middle of this and I'm using this absolutely craptastic 110, uh, no gas, flux core everything. Uh, even the um, feed system broke and I have to use a vise to get it to work. Um, so anyway, enough with that tangent. Let's get back to business here. So these come with what is supposed to be a 15 pound spring. Um, I was highly dubious of that being true, so I wanted to test it. In order to do so, you need to feed some air pressure into it. Um, my old Craftsman 150 PSI has a gauge on it, uh, or a uh, pressure regulated gauge that does not have enough resolution for my liking. I could turn it down low enough for this to work, um, but between the zero and the 10 is somewhere where we're gonna be operating and this isn't gonna cut it. So I went to Amazon and went sleuthing around and I must've missed it when uh, Matt did it, but this is the exact regulator that uh, he used. And in fact, in the um, uh, review section, there is a comment from him saying that this works perfect. So I picked that up grab an accessory kit to grab another um, uh, adapter fitting for the air system. Got a reducer from uh, quarter to eight NPT, and uh, then I put in my one eighth to push lock fitting. All right, now I'm back. I have it all set up. My air compressor line hooked up. You can see the gauge here, and you can see the operation of the wastegate. So I will turn the old knob here. 
eventually it'll start plying. There we go. All right, fix that leak. And eventually it will start applying. And we're up to about five pounds now. This is really not stable. There we go. Up to about six. Still not moving. Still not cracking. Almost eight. Starting to move just a little at eight. Cracked open there. You can see now it's cracking open and all the way open. So between eight and nine goes from being cracked to being opened. So these 15 pound springs are really just eight pound springs. I'll take the pressure off. It takes a while with this, but it works. And then eventually as it bleeds down, it starts closing. And we're closed before six. All right, now I'm back over on the other one. I have it spun around so that we can take a look at the operation of this one. I have my regulator set up again, same way again and uh, already did a little test before I started the video on this side. Uh, interesting, this gate's leaking, you can hear it. So something's not sealing inside with the diaphragm, means I'll have to take this one apart again, go take a look at it. But uh, it's the old trust but verify, test all your things so you don't break anything that's expensive. And we can see, this one behaves similar to the other one, even with this leak. You start getting up to eight. It's starting to move. By nine, it's cracked open pretty darn good. I'd say this one has about a half pound uh, of lag, probably due to the uh, internal leak, but it is still functioning. Um, but that is obviously not a good situation, so that will have to be remedied. Um, it's possible that it could be from the fitting itself, but uh, that'll just be something I'll have to take a look at. So anyway, we'll take the pressure off of this one, make sure it goes back into its home, and it does. And that's that. All right, now I am down to needing to finish the cold side, um, doing a little tuning, doing some rerouting of some electrical so I don't melt things. Um, that's, that's pretty much it as far as getting this thing fired up. Now the camshaft's completely wrong. I'm gonna have to change that out eventually. Um, but for now, I think I will run it as is. And, uh, shop dog, uh, over there. Hey, Hank. Hi, buddy. He, uh, he'll help me out. Huh, dude? Yeah. All right, guys. Now, this is the first video that I have tried out on this. Uh, probably should have started, um, documenting this build earlier. It's a lot of lessons learned from a lot of different builds on the internet. Plus a little bit of my own ideas of what I want. Plus, I don't really have much of a budget to do this. Um, I only bought the turbo, one of the turbos, after I sold my old headers off my NA setup. Um, things like that. So, Alright guys, 
Well, thank you very much for looking at this. I hope it is clear to some people how to make that work. Uh, it's real simple little things. Uh, it's not anything that I figured out on my own. It's something I figured out by other YouTube videos and by uh, other posts on the internet um, and trying it out on my own. Um, so far, these $40 special, e uh, they're not eBay, they're Amazon wastegates have been working pretty good. Um, and they are definitely not 15 pound springs. Definitely not. All right, guys. Thanks.